What you guys are about to hear is an expert interview video in which me and my guest discuss the game of Clash of Clans. This was a long interview, so it's going to be broken up into three parts. This is part one of three. There's not going to be any background attacks, just for sake of my own time and to preserve the bases of the clans we just faced, because I'd be showing pretty much every base um, if I had to get that many replays in the background. So uh, pop in the earbuds, um, mow your lawn, walk your dog. I don't know, go to the gym, whatever. You can just listen to it kind of podcast style because there's not going to be any background attacks. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is part one of three. Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next expert interview video. I've done two of these already, but this is going to be a monthly series. This is for the month of September, a little bit late, but we finally found a time to, to record this. I, I combed the lands for experts on the game of Clash of Clans and also YouTube um, as well. And uh, today we are talking to none other than Riggs from Clashing FFS, the YouTube channel. How you doing, Riggs? What is going on by Sectortron? Thank you so much for having me on. This is going to be a lot of fun. Yep, I'm looking forward to it. Um, we're going to get into a lot of different uh, topics today, stuff that I'm uh, very passionate about and excited to talk about. Uh, first, I do want to give a quick announcement to my viewers. Um, this type of video is done in conjunction with Patreon. So if you yourself, if you want to be a part of this interview, go on Patreon, the top tier of donations will get you your ticket into this interview and you can ask me and Riggs questions and also respond to our questions and be part of the interview. Uh, we had one patron this month qualify for that. He chose not to be in the video, but a shout out to Sub Zero. I really appreciate the support and he has a question that he wanted me to ask Riggs that I will ask later. But once again, check out the Patreon page. Link is in the description. If you yourself uh, want to be in this video, helping me choose who to interview and then help helping me uh, conduct the interview. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can go ahead and get into it. So Riggs, uh, why don't we just start with a little bit of background about you. I'm sure a lot of my viewers know that you do the CWL premiere recaps, but is there anything outside of Clash of Clans, um, just kind of background information, it can be as much or as little as you want uh, that you want to tell about yourself? Uh, well, as far as the game is uh, concerned, I've been playing for roughly, give or take, uh, three years. And I would say I've been in the war scene probably two, two and a half years. And as you already mentioned, I'm uh, the official CWL Premier YouTuber and having a lot, a lot of fun with that. Uh, but outside of Clash, you know, I have a, a you know, a full time job. You know, I'm a dad, a husband. You know, I have two little kids at home. Uh, and, you know, just, you know, constantly want to have fun and, you know, making videos and yeah, so far it's amazing how big the channel has gotten and, you know, and you were a big inspiration to that as well, uh, when I decided to go ahead and make the channel, which we'll, you know, we'll get into later. Uh, but, you know, big shout out. I do appreciate you having me on and I'm excited to, you know, talk about, uh, you know, just to discuss, you know, just different metas, what's going on with the game. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, similar to you, I just like, you know, helping people along the way. And I do that, you know, I try to convey that, you know, through my videos. And yeah, it's just, it's been, it's been a lot of fun so far. Right. Well, it's great to have you on once again. And, you know, speaking of your channel, I noticed, I look at some of your videos, they get a lot of views. You have a really big, um, viewer base uh, compared to your subscribers because uh, for a channel that's still you know relatively small in subscribers uh, you are getting a lot of views and a lot of viewers are tuning into your content so a really good view to subscribe ratio one thing I wanted to just point out there uh, that came to mind so anyway uh, you mentioned that you uh, started Clash is it three years ago you said? Yeah yeah about about three years ago um maybe a little less maybe a couple months uh but yeah i was i would say it was at the end of i'd say it was about or i'd say right at the be yeah about the end of 2014 um is is when i started um 
So that's a little so, bit yeah. after I did, but um, it seems like everyone has their own story of how they got into Clash. For me, it was my friend. Uh, was it like a coworker, uh, a friend, or just you saw a commercial, or what? What was it that, that yeah, initially that's got exactly, it? That's exactly what it is. It's not. It's not a you know uh, you know a wonderful story or anything, but. Uh, you know, back when I started playing, that's when Clash of Clans was always having commercials on TV, you know, on, on you know, network, you know, cable, uh, you know, channels on TV. And I would see him over and over, you know, all the time. And I didn't even know what it was. I didn't even know it was a base building game or a strat, you know, a strategy game, you know, as far as that's concerned. And I finally just one day I saw it and I said, what is this game? What is this? I keep seeing these commercials. So I just went ahead, you know, I whipped out my phone, you know, went to the, you know, the app store, I downloaded it and I was like, oh, holy crap, you know, it's, it's a strategy base building game, which is what I used to play on computer, uh, you know, years ago, you know, 10, you know, 15 years ago playing computer games uh, that were similar to this, you know, like Warcraft, not World of Warcraft, but Warcraft, Starcraft, um, Command and Conquer, you know, base building strategy games. I was like, wow, it's mobile. This is, you know, this is great. And I was just kind of hooked right after that. Nice, nice. So it was the commercial uh, for you. Interesting. It was straight up, yep. It was straight up the commercial. <laughs> right. Um, and then later we have the Legend 27 commercials and all the other mobile games following in Clash's footsteps. Because they, I think, were one of the earlier mobile games to really get a presence, even the Super Bowl with the Liam Neeson commercial. Well, and what, what's insane to think about is, I mean, this game has been around as you know, many people watching this, uh, it's been five years. They just had Clash of Clans just had their five year anniversary. So I started playing the game when it was already two years old. That's crazy to think that a mobile game has been around this long and is still thriving. Yeah. It's pretty crazy to think about. So you got into Clash of Clans, you're you're going through, I assume clan wars are not quite out yet, if I have my timeline right. Um, so at what, when clan wars come out, what town hall level are you and how long does it take before you really start to get into, um, focusing on clan wars and the three star attacks and all that kind of stuff? When I first started clan wars or when I first, I mean, it was the way I did start along is, you know, with many other people, it was from Jake, you know, Jake from one hive, uh, watching his YouTube videos Mm -hmm. and when I started, this was back when Town Hall 8s were still a part of Range Wars, way before uh, Friendly Wars, um, you know, were even in the picture. And, you know, I did, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, Range Wars as a Town Hall 8 on the map, which obviously is, is dead as far as, you know, the elite war scene is concerned. There is no Town Hall 8 on the maps. Uh, but that's kind of where I started out as a Town Hall 8. I would say it was probably Town Hall 7-ish when I really started breaking bases down and figuring out ways, uh, you know, to, you know, to triple a base. This was, you know, way before Dark Spells, uh, you know, things like that where you couldn't just, you know, zap Quake and AD and, you know, spam Dragons. Right. You know, you tried to, you know, break and just look at things differently than my clan mates did in you know, our quote unquote, what we would consider a farm clan uh, and thought, you know, who else is out there that thinks, you know, like this? Because where I'm at right now, it's not happening. And then I just, you know, ca you know, kind of did it that way. Yeah. And I think that's a common story, what you're saying, because a, a lot of people are in that same boat, uh, myself included. I started out watching Jake's videos um, and that kind of helped shape my YouTube channel because <laughs> one thing I always like to say is I actually had the, my YouTube channel before Jake did, but it was like two, two months before but I was uploading just, you know, trash content, you know, the, the kind of stuff you see um, with like farming and not nothing against people that upload farming videos or whatever, but stuff that looking back on, it's just like facepalm for me, cringy. Right, right, stuff. right. Looking back at it now to see where you were to where you are now. Yeah, it's night and day for sure. Right. I have my first video still on my channel. So if you go all the way back and take a look, it's um, and I made a video uh watching my first video. So I, I, I've, you know, kept that out there in case anyone wants to look at it, look at it. <laughs> um, so at what point did you get into the clans that you're in now? Can you talk about 
where you are currently, um, what kind of accounts you have, and uh, how kind of how what's your current state in the game? Uh, right now, uh, the current clan I'm in is Forged from Steel, and the town halls that I play is Town Hall Nine. I have a max Town Hall Nine account, and I have a well, not fully, not fully max Town Hall Ten, but you know, fully max as far as you know the lab goes. Uh, you know, forty forty heroes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm. I don't know. Should I should I mention tier weight? Should I mention I'm a tier four? If you're looking at the CWL um, tier system, I'm a tier four. That would probably I think it's like an eighty eight k for those people that still use that uh, to reference. You know the weight or you know the defensive weight of their base. Uh, but yeah, those are the two accounts that I play. Oh, I also just upgraded my mini account to Town Hall 9. I haven't even dropped the Archer Queen yet, but nice. <laughs> <laughs> the main, the main, the two I mainly play, I have, you know, a 70k fully max 9 and obviously, ta- you know, Town Hall 10. Very cool. And as, and far, as far as that new 9 goes, let me just tell you, I upgraded my Town Hall 8 account, my mini account by Sectatron Jr. By Sectatron Jr., yep. right? That's right. I uploaded it. <laughs> Long time viewer, I guess. I uploaded it or upgraded it. Sorry. Uh, to Town Hall 9, I don't know, six months, a year ago, I don't even know. It, it still has like a level 3 queen. It's just a lost <laughs> cause trying to farm that. There, I got like one <laughs> one boost of energy, so I went ahead and like boosted the barracks for an hour. And then like 15 minutes into the boost, I'm just like, this is stupid. I'm, I'm done. I don't have, I don't have time for this. Yeah. I do enjoy, that is something that, there's a few of us in our clan. You know, I mean, obviously most of the accounts that we get being a CWL clan that's uh, in invite in the invite uh, league Mm -hmm. is it's all max accounts. There's not a lot of people farming, but I still do at the end of the day, enjoy it along with a couple other people. We have, you know, our quote unquote, you know, farming parties. Oh, Uh, you're weird. You're weird. (laughs) Uh, You know, because we still have, you know, smaller accounts that we're upgrading just to pass time. Uh, But we have fun, you know, you know, we just kind of banter and, Right. You know, troop donations and just, you know, just try to have a good time. But I got obviously you. the bread and butter is on that war map. Right. Okay. So you're in uh, uh, Forge from Steel. There we go. So I was looking for. Um, there. And part of that clan family, we have from Molten Lava, FML. It's an unfortunate acronym. Um, it's in... Uh-huh. Uh, CWO Premier. Are there any other clans beyond that? Uh, we have, I mean, we have a, you know, sister alliance with Clantonimo Bay, but it's obviously completely detached. I mean, they're separate clans. We do friendly wars. Uh, you know, we exchange ideas, things like that. The main thing is we usually do a friendly war before our CWO matches uh, to test bases, test strategies, uh, you know, things like that. You know, we have a, you know, a joint server, you know, where we get on and discuss things. But as far as our clan family, that's part of what we call the Forge by the Bay Alliance. But as far as our clan family, it's Forge from Steel and From Molten Lava are the main two clans that are in competitive league play, obviously, like you mentioned, FML mm-hmm. being in Premier and FFS being in Invite this season. Gotcha. Very cool. So both your accounts are in FFS, is that right? No, I have well, I have my ten in FFS, and then I have my nine in uh, from Molten Lava, and I wore you know I wore on it for in in Premiere. Gotcha. Well, that's a good idea. What you mentioned about um, having that friendly war before your CWL matchup because it. If, if you know the clan is, you know, part of your alliance, they're not going to show your bases. You can test some of those bases and um, be able to adjust things. That's a, a cool situation um, that I think definitely probably benefits you guys. So it's a good idea there. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and transition now that we have that background established into... Um, actually, you know, I should ask, I'm a little bit disorganized here. How did you get into YouTube? At what point... Um, did you decide to upload YouTube videos just out of curiosity? I was when I was still in the Algen family being in alpha. I know you were obviously covering the one hype Genesis side. Right. And, um, 
there wasn't a lot of footage, you know, there wasn't that much being captured on the alpha side. Obviously, your hands are completely tied up with Genesis, uh, just like how the majority of my videos are from FFS. And but this, yeah, so you know, going back, you know, maybe a year and a half ago, um, I started uploading videos that way, you know, just showing, you know, we start doing arranged wars in alpha, you know, doing uh, uh, potluck wars and just attack strategy videos, troop spotlight. Uh, just doing things like that and i had a lot of fun doing it and i had you know experience uh you know in media and you know video editing you know back in high school so i you know applied those concepts and thought hey you know this is this is kind of cool you know you get some views and some people find it really really helpful and it, that's where it originally you know started then i probably didn't make a video for maybe six months or so and then came back full swing when I started the channel currently clashing FFS when we started uh, Forge from Steel. So it, it was like same mm -hmm. day pretty much. Cool, cool. I just wanted to get that background. Um, so yeah, sounds like a good start. A lot of people just starting off, you know, um, small, just uploading attacks of their, their clan mates and it kind of takes off from there. So uh, very cool. Mm -hmm. Let's transition into the uh, patron question. This is from uh, my Patreon patron who is in the expert interview tier, the top donation tier. So once again, a shout out to Sub-Zero. Um, the question... Shout out to Sub-Zero. Yep. And uh, the question he wanted me to ask is with regards to starting a clan. So you were involved in starting uh, your clan family, Forged from Steel family. Can you tell us how, what's the key to starting a clan? Do you think it's still doable today if, let's say, someone wants to start a clan that they want to be competitive uh, in clan wars? Is that still uh, possible? And if so, um, are there any tips you would give for someone looking to do that? I mean, I'd say absolutely. I mean, when we, when we, started, uh, when we started Forge from Steel, there's probably a group of about 10 of us. I think the first war we spun, I think it was, it might have been, it wasn't a 10 v, it might have been a 15 v 15 was our first maybe three, you know, or I'd say two or three wars uh, were, you know, just small, small breakdown. But we had a core group of about 15 guys. There was a big fallout where we came uh, from Midwinters. There's a big fallout with them. Obviously, Midwinters is no more. Mm -hmm. um that's peace but we said you know we've gone to a few different war clans and each one i don't want to say wasn't right for us but it just wasn't working out you know there'd be problems with leaderships or the clan mates or there just you know be problems with how it was just run sh you know structurally right uh so we said and we looked around and said well you know we got we got some pretty good accounts that we have on our hands we have a lot of knowledge what if we start our own clan? And I'm telling you, a lot of people, because we have friends spread across the war community from all, you know, almost all the clans. You know, we know people. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were saying, you know, sorry, guys, it can't be done. You know, C CWO was already alive and well in season one when we, you know, before we even started it. And they said, you know, you, you cannot have a war clan unless, you, you know, you're basically in CWL. So even with the negativity, with our group, we still, you know, we made FFS from War One, you know, level one clan. I believe we're level seven, maybe level, uh, yeah, level seven or level eight. Uh, it's one, one of the two, and it's been we've had the clan about, I'd say, six, seven months now. Uh, we had that clan started from scratch, uh, you know, word spread out, and you know, <laughs> people started joining. We made our own Discord server you know, sending out invites, you know, inviting people. And, you know, we've had a lot of people obviously leave. We've had a lot of people stay, but we have our foundation, uh, a core group of guys that have been with us since, I mean, well over a year, which is a long time in clash life mm -hmm. uh, or in clash years. And, you know, and, but definitely to answer this question, absolutely. You can start a clan from scratch, just like we did our first arranged war we weren't even a level two. No, we, I think we were a level two clan when we had our first arranged war and we beat Sons of Anarchy. So it's not the level on that shield. That just makes it easier. 
as far as donating and things like that, certain perks. But your the level of your clan does not tell how much experience that clan has. You know, just like FFS, we're an invite. You know, we're a level seven clan. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah, and I I absolutely agree. And what it sounds to me like the key is having that core group, whether it comes from a previous clan connections throughout the the war community, just having a group of people that want to to make their own system, their own clan, want to start from scratch, having that initial drive, 10 to 15 people, um, even less maybe, and then just getting, fielding a roster, just starting to do random searches, get into arranged wars on a small scale, and just let it grow from there. But that, that core group is definitely very important for starting a clan, I would say. Yeah, and definitely having... Definitely having the same vision, the same idea, you know, everybody wanting the same thing. And it, more so now than ever between, you know, our, our access with Twitter, our access, you know, through YouTube. Obviously, starting out a YouTube channel is very, very big as, you know, as far as getting recruits and getting your clan out there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just the various uh, Discord chats. I mean, you can make a name for yourself pretty quick depending what clan you be, especially with the majority of uh, war clans having public war logs, you know, it, it, it does say something. So, you know, again, just between Twitter, YouTube, and all the, the joint servers throughout Discord, you can definitely get your name out there if you're planning on starting your own clan. But yeah, like you already said, and like I said, you have to have a core group, maybe even five people uh, that have the same vision and it's a lot of work. Trust me, it is a lot of work, a lot of ups, a lot of downs. And you just have to keep pushing. And just like how you upgrade your base, you're constantly upgrading your clan as well. Absolutely. Yep. Um, so anyway, I think we answered that question pretty well. This concludes part one of the interview. In part two, we're going to get into some topics such as the balance of the game, new features we want to see, and other fun stuff like that. Hope you guys check out part two. Should be uploaded about the same time this one is uploaded.